Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to thank the great people over at Amino for sponsoring this video. Amino is a network of communities that help connect people that share the same interests. Joining an Amino community means that you're instantly in a place with thousands of people who share the same interests as you. And you can discuss topics regarding your interests, engage with amazing content and opinions that other people have, and of course, make some amazing friends along the way. If you want to talk about hip hop in a community where there are thousands of like minded people who enjoy rap as much as you, well, in the rap and hip hop amino, you can connect with several thousands where you can discuss album reviews, make your own top 10 list, and so many more things. My favorite things that you can do on Amino is that you can take quizzes to test your knowledge in hip hop or anything in general. I also find inspiration by browsing the featured feed and viewing all the creative list ideas that people have. I've also put up a question that I want your opinions on. So just go to my profile on Amino and let me know. Anyways, to answer the question that I've put up and join in and see all the amazing features on Amino, just click the link in the description or my pinned comment to download Amino on iOS or Android or just simply search it up in your app store. And be sure to look for rap and hip hop when you're in. You can find me on there by searching up my username which is Intensify Chucks. Uh, hey guys, uh, this is a new video format I'm trying out which involves me using my voice. Don't worry though, normal list videos will still be coming out. This is just something I'm trying to do on the side. Alright, so for this video I am going to tell you all what my unpopular opinions in rap are. And from the get-go, I would like to shout out Honest and the Almighty Kid because this video is inspired by the versions of it. So yeah, their links will be in the description below if you want to check them out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 1. 6 9 isn't a terrible artist. I say this because I genuinely enjoy some of his songs. Songs like Kika and Billy are great songs that hype you up. And all I have to say is, not all rappers have to be lyrical to be entertaining when it comes to music these days. Number 2. Offset is the best Migos with Takeoff being a close second and Quavo being the last. Offset is the best because I think he has the most variety out of those three. You want this man to give you a melodic hook, he can give you that. You want this man to give you a hard verse, he can also give you that. Number 3. I do not mess with Future's music. And this is purely opinion because I know there are tons of future stands out there that are going to bash me for this. I just don't like future's laid back, slow type of music. It just doesn't suit me. Number 4. Culture 2 wasn't a terrible album, but it wasn't good either. Half the songs off of Culture 2 were absolute ass, but the other half are mediocre to great songs and I'm hoping culture 3 will follow more to the first culture because the first culture was an amazing album one of the best in 2017 in my opinion number five uh, Rico Nasty and Rhapsody are the best female rappers out right now Rico Nasty is an aggressive female artist and has a sound that is unique to her there aren't any other female rappers that sound like her. Rhapsody on the other hand is a lyrical god and one of the best female rappers to dominate in the lyrical scene. Number 6. I dislike most of Lil Baby's and Gunner's music. They just sound like cheap young thugs to me. I just don't vibe with their music. The only song I like off them is Drip Too Hard. Number 7. Dave is the best rapper off of the UK right now. Dave is a rapper from the UK who has amazed me. I don't really listen to the UK rap scene, but ever since I've heard of Dave, I've been bumping him heavy. Number 8. Hex and Ski are better than Lil Peep and Lil Tracy. I just feel that X and Ski have a better chemistry than I do have. And I just genuinely enjoy X's and uh, Ski's music much more than Peeps and Tracy's. No disrespect though, I still think they are great artists. Number 9. Uh, Yadi performs better on features than he does on his own music. Yadi brings his A game when it comes to features. His features on songs like T Grizzlies from the D to the A and Carnage's Mars in the 97 
is heaps better than any of his verses on his own music. Number 10, Comethazine is amazing and Borsky 2 and the first have great songs to bump in your car. Number 11, some YouTube rappers are actually pretty good. Uh, YouTube rappers like Kodeka, Crip and Bilu are decent and might I even say good. They all make great music that are actually up to par with actual rappers. Also, Dex is a YouTube rapper even if he denies it. He grew a fan base on YouTube and he shouldn't discredit YouTube for bringing him this far in the rap game. Number 12, Denzel Curry is the best rapper out right now. He mixes hype rap and lyrical rap amazingly well and his newfound versatility on tracks like Cloud Cobain of Taboo just add to that. Not many artists can fuse making hype music and lyrical music as well as Denzel does. Number 13. Overall, Nicki Minaj is better than Cardi B. To me, Nicki Minaj was in a rap game for as far as I can remember. And we shouldn't let a newcomer like Cardi just take a throne like that. Nicki pioneered the way for female rappers and should be given more respect for that. Nowadays though, I feel Nicki is kind of slipping up and I feel Cardi B is releasing better songs but overall, I still feel Nicki is a better rapper. Maybe if we give Cardi another 2 years in the game, she'd be good enough to claim Nicki's throne. Number 14 Everything XXX Tentacion released post Hummersley is mostly bad except for a few exceptions. X's post Hummus music have been subpar and mostly bad, but I have to give credit to songs like Train Food and Guardian Angel and some of his songs of uh, Members Only Volume 4 because those tracks are actually good. But overall, X's post Hummus music has been pretty trash. And this comes from a major X dad. Number 15. Post Malone and Juice World sound really similar. When I first heard of Juice World's music, I was like, this man is basically Post Malone version 2. This is not necessarily bad because I love Post's music and Juice's music, but I just can't deny the similarities. Number 16. I don't think people should be dragging MGK's name down the gutter like they have been. MGK might have lost the war against Eminem, but that shouldn't be enough for people to just be dragging his name through the mud. His older music was generally some of the best of its time and he shouldn't be discredited of all his hard work just because of his disorder against Eminem. Number 17. What are the main reasons rappers like Juice WRLD, Lil Pump, Lil Skies and Lil Mosey are popular are because of Lyrical Lemonade or Cole Bennett. Let's be honest, Juice, Pump, Skies and Mosey were not popping until they released songs directed by Cole Bennett. No hate though. I enjoy them all, but I'm just saying. Number 18. Kendrick is way better than J. Cole. This is just no debate for me. For some people, I might have brought some discussions, but for me, it's just no debate. J. Cole might have good music, but he is nothing compared to Kendrick. Number 19. J. Cole's best guess worst was on Pretty Little Fears. His singing and rapping just fit the song so well and I think it is up there with some of the best verses we shall ever laid out. Number 20. Blueface makes entertaining and good music. People discredit him because he is using a weird and different style. But honestly he delivers some amazing punchlines at times and it's going to take over 2019. No debate. Number 21. Lil Pump's music isn't meant to be taken seriously and it's not all that bad. If I have to be honest, I mess with Lil Pump. He creates hype music that I can just vibe to. Songs like Boss and Butterfly Dawn are the songs that hype you up. Number 22. The old Quavo is miles better than the new one. The new melodic Quavo that basically sing raps on all his songs bores me. Quavo basically just speaks the same words over and over and over again. And it just gets boring at some point. The old Quavo that actually rapped and wasn't that melodic it was great. I suggest you all check out Quavo's rapping on songs like Chinatown that shows how great Quavo can be and how that the old Quavo beats the new Quavo by a milestone. Number 23. This is more of a prediction than any opinion. 
for me, either IDK or Denzel Curry is gonna have the best album of 2019. IDK and Denzel have proven to me why they are some of the best in our generation with their previous tracks. And for me, there's no doubt in my mind that either of them will not produce a great album this year. You guys, thanks for watching the video. I know I'm trying this new format in my videos. Honestly, the old list has been getting boring for me, so I've wanted to like venture out into maybe talking my videos. So please uh, leave a comment on whether you like this kind of videos or you just like me to go back to my old kind of videos. Uh, and uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. Peace.